Hey guys, welcome back to a new Wikipedia. Today I'm going to teach you about fantasy interior and clutter. So today we will not be working on the exterior, but the interior, but a few tips and tricks along the way. I hope you'll stay put and look at this tutorial I am showing you off and I will teach you how to build very compact in very tight spaces and how to use pieces properly. Hello everyone and welcome back to Wikipedia part 3. Today we are doing something very very cool. We are going to build a fantasy cottage. So this is going to be uh, based on fantasy clutter what you could add as fantasy clutter for a build like this. But before we start, I would like to extend this building with some sides on each level or on each side, like a left and right that is a little bit lower from the roof. And I'm going to try to do that now very quick, guys. And I'm just going to skip through this part because it's just something you've seen me before. I literally just duplicate the roof and put it in a lower building and then I add them on left and right side. So the next thing that I will like to show you guys is how to make stained glass yeah, windows. The thing is I'm doing here is that I'm using the gemstone pieces, which you can find in the adventure pack. And um, so if you have that, you are able to build this sort of thing. So what I am doing is that I am taking these sort of different shaped gems and I put them into this sort of alignment. So they all of them has a perfect shape. And afterwards I go in and I find where it needs to have this extra hole in the window. As you can see here, I'm using this gemstone four, which has this super nice shape that can go into this sort of uh, alignment and put into um, these sort of gemstones. And in that way, you will have these gemstones aligned up in this way that it feels like a stained glass window, especially from a long distance, as you can see here. Um, so this is pretty much how you do stained glass windows. What I have done though, is that I have used the Victorian door as a window. Uh, and then I have slowly just added uh, gemstones on top of it. So I still have the framework. Um, so yeah, afterwards guys, I am gonna go in straight forward and just add a little bit of stuff on the outside of the building. You will see this in speed build and then I will get right back to you guys right after. I guess I can in the meantime while you guys are seeing this little speed build in the background while I'm just adding a few things here and there before I go inside and do some clutter work. Um, I would like to say like when it comes to clutter and fantasy you have like legit no limitations because you have the word in it. It's fantasy. So whatever you feel apply to your build you can add. There's not really any rules when it comes to fantasy. So you are very like um, you can literally just go wherever you want and like I have a few pictures here uh, reference pictures as you can see in the background here that can sort of like ex sort of explaining on what I just literally said about it being all kinds of you know um, messiness it's again organized mess as we talked about in the previous video right so like everything everything doesn't really have to matter here but as more as it's more like doesn't make sense that it's just there. Um, so I feel like it's it's really like good when it comes to fantasy because you can just go ham. There's no limitations. There's no stop button. And I will provide that 
with you guys in this video here on how to do that. So, so yeah. All right. So now when we sort of have our interior somewhat ready for us to start on, I know we still need this right side here, but we will get to that. But what we need to do now is that we need to figure out a way to put some flooring in here. And what's the most natural floor to have in here is a, it's a wood floor, right? So, um, let's see if we can add this guy in here without any, and then the next thing we need to do now is that we need to give it some roof. We need to give it like an extra floor. So we are also going to do that by doing this. So what we should be able to do is raise this guy up here. Let's just put him right here next to the chimney right there. And then hopefully we can add some stuff around and then we can turn it around. So we can use both sides and then slowly like do something like this and then put him there and do something like that. So I'm just gonna go with it guys and, uh, and try my best of doing some fantasy clutter. But first of course, um, we're gonna figure out where we need what. So I'm thinking what if we make a bedroom in here? So I feel like we should add the door here. Okay, so we got this for now, right? And then we can even open them. We can open it like this and like that. Because then we still somewhat have, so you can sort of see what's happening in here. Because then we can sort of figure out how to do a chimney. Fireplace, I mean. So we already have this guy, right? But this guy might be a little bit too big. I don't know. And then... Now we don't really have a background here. So what we could do is that we could try to find a rocky background. But now we got this right. So we can place this guy here. We're gonna, I'm gonna make this super cluttery in here guys, okay? So you guys can kind of see what I need, what I mean with it all. I'm gonna try to use uh, the pieces that we can. So this guy is pretty short. Or not short, I mean. So my goal here is to build this in front of this guy. So it's kind of a safe hazard or a safe fire hazard here. So let's just try to do that like this. Hmm. This one. So you just have to remember that all these things here is just, it's just very important to add on guys. So in here, I felt like we could do maybe a big library or like something where we just have a lot of books. A little chair, maybe some script rolls or something like that. I feel like that's, uh, that's something we could do here. something I've done plenty of times before making this sort of uh, script house thing um, but it's gonna be super cool though what we could do is that we could make this like a shelf thing hear me out so we do this you just have to figure out ways to make things uh, be doable literally just take advantage of the things you have already so if you want to cover this up from in here as we've done because i kind of like that it's open here now right so what we could do is that either way we could take a plank planks are usually the way to go with this and then you literally just try to take him over the bracket so you sort of get the brackets covered like this, you know? Let's see, so about here is where we can put this guy for now. So we're gonna do this. So we got this now, right? Look how much this just adds to the build. 
So more we can do is that we can now take these guys here. Take them above here. And we can do like this. This is gonna look super cool. And we do the same over here. And there, right? And we'll take this guy. Let's see how 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 much do we have to play with here? About here. That is actually nice. And then we do this the same around here. We lay him down like that. So you see, things slowly starts to look better the more you add. And that's a cool feature. It's a really nice thing that these things, for so little things, add so much, right? So the only thing we need to do now is connect these guys with each other like this. So as I say, it's not going to be super polished and tweaked. There might be a few flaws here and there, guys. Um, you know what, maybe just have the mid, mid open like this. Yeah. I think this is this is nice. This is some uh, decent support work, and we kind of like got covered up with these things, as you can see. And now we also have it here, and we can do the same over here as well, if that's what we really, really feel like doing at the end. What I learned, some some very things that I learned is that how to build good clutter is literally to minimize yourself with the space. Like try, like as here, try build a very compact uh, house with interior and try to get as much interior you can in as possible. That is literally what it's all about. So now we got this sort of guy here, right? So sometimes I barely, like I just I just put some things down and then I'd be like, hmm, I wonder. So this is looking a lot better already with this sort of curve here, right? And then we could start with placing or maybe putting uh, some locks here, like this. These guys here we can put inside. So they are all aligned over here. So it's all, as I say, it's all about how the placement is and uh, how you feel like doing with all these locks and stuff, right? So it's all, it's all you guys, it's all on you pretty much. So as you can see here, I feel like this looks like a good pile of wood. We just need to Turn him around so it feel, feels like this stuff here is actually lying on top of this. Like this, right? You can find a frame. We are in here, we're in statues. We will find a frame. And with that frame, we should be able to hang a picture up. Something like this, right? And then we can move this guy a little bit more. And we can do this. And then, beautiful, beautiful. Remember, this is only the, the proper the detail. This is not even like the proper clutter yet. We will get there, we will get there, trust me. So we need to make a, a carpet here. So we'll take this guy, we'll remove um, these stars here I'm just gonna make it or maybe we can make it like like this and we'll turn him around and we'll do this we sort of have a little blanket over here or carpet right and then we will take hmm yeah we do have this chair you can always make them a little bit smaller this guy will take you over here as well. Then we'll do this, but I think it might be down towards down here. There it is. Occasional table. Perfect. So we place this guy down here. Now we sort of have a little cozy reading, and then we can put like a little candle and all that stuff. On here, a script roll. All that fancy schmancy stuff, guys. It's gonna be great. So what I'm thinking about doing here now is that we can add tons of shit here, like a book even. We can add an open book. Thank you. So we do this. 
And then we also need all these guys. Just need to have them. That's what I'm saying. We're focused on one room first, guys. Because that's just it's just easier to do like that. So what we can do is that we can place this guy here. And we'll do this, obviously. So this is the fun part. This is this is where you can literally make all the clutter just like crazy stuff. So what we're doing now, we're making like uh let's say like a I've already made one like this, but this could be sort of like an adventurer, sort of a cottage. Or just a guy that likes to tell stories. It could be a lot of things. It can, it can be tons of things. All right. So I have sometimes uh, like the newspapers we have. I know the newspaper doesn't really work well in the same sense. As uh, because you, you, like having this on the ground just doesn't seem kind of weird. But to make it feel like it's it's messy and it's like like this is a room where they kind of like it's, it's just a big mess in here. Um, and that's I kind of like how we can do that. Like even here, for example, we can put this guy on the side. So it feels like just, you know, ordinary documents. If it doesn't go out from the side, it kind of does, of course. Maybe we can do this. Yes. So as you can see, looks like some documents is there and it's just nice. It's just nice. I don't know if it will work over here. But it's just a, a cool way of adding more stuff to your bookshelves, you know? And yeah, this guy is definitely... Can we? We can. Perfect. And then another trick from the book is... I know we have now, we have these awesome Theme Maker Toolkit uh, roles that uh, Mango Tango have done. But what we usually also could do with it... This is a trick from the old book, guys. Is that you can use this Roman Candle Tiny Firework. Which has this thing that you obviously have to to pause and remove it. So what you can do is that you can color it completely white. Or maybe even go with this color so it has this more faded. Yeah, maybe this actually works like this. So you can do this, right? You can take this color. Then you can put him up here somewhere. Let's see here. Put them up here. With the with the black thing in front here, right? And then what you literally just need to do is that you need to stack them on top of each other. So you kind of get this sort of like, you know, script scrolls vibe. As you can see here when you look at the bookshelves. Looks, it, it could be a lot of things, right? But it's just so freaking cool though. How you can make it look like this. You can even like add one that maybe stands. On front of the book. Of course, it's very important you turn it around because it has this sticker on it, which you don't really want people to see, right? So we can put one more on the table here as well. See, this is clutter, guys. This is how you do the clutter. Very important how you do this. As you can see here, already now we have like a very, looks somewhat of a, of a messy room, right? So now we have this little nice uh, cozy reading area here where we have some interior and from the outside I think it's gonna look super cool when we can sort of look inside. So now it's all about the other rooms we have to move into next. So my room, uh, my thing here was to kind of like try to see if we can make some cabinets or something like that. Um, and then I write cabinet, I am smart. In that way where we kind of just cover up this.
So now I need to find something that has like this sort of curve, right? So maybe we can do the pipe, do the pipe. I mean, it's a lot of brainstorming while you build guys, but I mean, you already, you've already knew that. And then maybe we can take one of them out like it's a... Uh... Oh yeah, maybe we can do that. Let's try. We can do this. Oh yeah, because then it definitely has gets that feeling, doesn't it? It sure does. And we also need in the back here or in the bottom. Like this. I mean, that at least gives us that feeling that it's open, which is nice. And then I don't know if we can actually pretend that there's something in it. Um, I guess maybe we can put like, uh, I guess we can, we can do this. I guess it feels like something is in here. All right. I mean, we could maybe put the bed underneath here, but I don't know. Because I was thinking about using the confect thing. But it's quite big, this guy, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced yet. Let's see if we can fix it with this. So what if we do like one in each corner here? Like this. Like this. Like that. Let's take this guy. Yeah, I don't feel like these works for what we want to do. All right, we'll just have to figure out a way to make him obey it here. It's easy. Easy. Easy peasy. Maybe we can use the snow. You say, what do you mean, snow? Thing is, I mean, this could be a pillow. All right. Sort of. Yeah, sort of a pillow is great. It's great. And what I could do would just to be take the drapes and try to make a, a carpet for that. Or like, yeah. The only way we could have done that would be literally just to take the drapes here. I feel like this, this, this looks like a, a thing we could do. So my only thing next now is if we can add some curtains. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna look cool. I mean, they will obviously not do anything. Just be like here, yep. Okay. And then he needs a little lamb over here. I mean, obviously the best thing would be the spooky candles here. But we kind of need to do the same here, don't we? With with these guys. So let me see if I can copy paste this over here. Com compared to um, how small this building is inside, you can always do do interior as long as you just. I mean, you don't have to cover up all this stuff that I'm covering up. This is just me because if you want it to be super clean and polished and all that stuff, then this is the way to go. Where you literally find and you fix all the gaps. Uh, you literally just do what you need to do so it can all look nice together at the end. It's about making it look all nice guys. All nice. I like I like I like how this is uh, this is turning out right now because uh, as again I'm just improvising because that's the best way to do with uh, with clutter. It's, it's literally the best way to just do stuff see where it takes you. It just gives some else to look at over here on the left side, you know, when there's not so much else. Um, we can put a frame here, one more wind or like picture frame. If we have something that is small enough for that, we have this guy. It's a spooky frame, but it can work well for us too. It could be a mirror, to be honest. So we do this. And again, since it's fantasy, but this is also, I mean, you can always make it messy though. Like that's, that's just fair trade. You can always just do that. So you can legit just place whatever you want around here. And that's what we are gonna do. I'm gonna place a few things here in his 
bedroom and uh, see what it where it takes us we can even place a book here again we can even place a book next to his bed here he's reading it right 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 so i'm just looking for this guy here maybe it'll look better like here oh. nice okay Whatever our imagination takes us, guys, we can we can use that. Now I just feel like this corner over here is empty, right? Maybe this stove was not such a bad idea again. And we can put some coal next to it. Hmm. That might actually not be such a bad idea. So we put this guy here, right? And we take um, the leather thing. Leather basket, we'll put him here. We we'll find some coal pieces. See, this is one of the things that I'm actually super annoyed of with Frontier, that they never gave us like lumps of this. Or they did, but they didn't give us like a big portion of it, so it's just one piece, right? It's kind of annoying. All right, so now we sort of have placed the fuse so it looks like that. So what we can do is that we can take the pipe. We can take the pipe. Oops, I spelled wrong. And we can take him down there. Turn him around. And do this. And then it looks like we have like a little thing to take the coal pieces with. Because I am curious if this will actually be something we could do. So everything in here just makes sort of sense. Oh, nice. We actually can. I don't mind there's a circle there. Just looks like a pattern or something. I like that, actually. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's just add some fire stuff to this guy. We'll just make it a very small fire here. There we go. And then we'll take smoke up here. Well, to smoke here and now we're just missing the last room here perfect and then it's the exterior we have to figure out what we need to do with as well guys so i was thinking since we are focusing him on to be a writer i feel like we should kind of give him a desk right so i think i would have loved if we could have used this table over here i think we can right Yes, we can do it like this. He is a writer, right? So he needs he needs some creative inspiration looking at these pictures here. We'll take this one and then we'll do that. Move him so get a little bit closer like this. Oh, we can put a clock in here as well, actually. I forgot that. I forgot the clock. I know the clock is fucking noisy. But um, we need it in here. We need it. So we're gonna do that. And then we will stack these guys here. Just wait for them to, to sample in here. Thank you. Pause it. Thank you. Wow, they're very far away from there. All right, put down, please. There you go. Beautiful. All right. So if we take this guy, no, we need the small one. Wait, what? Thank you. If we take this guy over here, he's too, he's, this is too much. What about this? No. I mean, we could do it like this, right? But then you would be, you would see it on the back there. Unless we cover up the back with some wood. Maybe that will work. Because my goal here is to make a, a feather sort of thing. So I am going to try to... I know we have this small here. So what if we then do this? 
make this feel like some sort of uh, a feather hmm I feel like it needs to be further down though like here okay so we sort of have this table here now where he writes right so what we need to do now as well oops what we need to do now as well is that we have this sort of white um wall here i'm not sure uh, how i like it I'm not sure how i like it though but what we could do is that we could at least give it a window frame here right so this looks like this like that lots of lights for him here so he can write i mean if you guys know what this is i mean i guess it makes sense right i feel like it does i feel like it. okay it's all about just Trying to get as many things as possible inside of these builds here, as I said, guys. Put this guy here. And we can put... I mean... <laughs> I use a lot of books as clutter because that's what we have. Especially if we don't use uh, Theme Maker Toolkit stuff. If I used Theme Maker Toolkit stuff, there would be plenty for, of stuff to uh, place down. Um, as no pieces. But we're not doing that today. So... It is literally all about getting all these things figured out and just place them as I've said. Don't don't hesitate. Just just do it. You know. If I turn this guy around, what will we have on the other side? We will have this. Okay. So you guys just have to sort of just have in mind that all these things I'm placing down is is mainly just you know for for decorative parts. We can always make a carpet again if that's what we, re we really really want maybe we should make a longer one this time like when you get inside here so maybe we can do this color it sort of the same color as this and then give it a brown and then we turn it around and we do this again guys just figuring out what to do with like all the things here so i'm putting a carpet here now just to make it feel like it's, it's cooler like this we could obviously make it a little bit smaller like that. Nope. There we go. I've got a, a blanket at least, right? So, next thing we could sort of do, sort of do, sort of do, would be maybe. It, as I say, it's just very important that you get to just figure out what you need to do when it comes to fantasy. Because as I say, there's no... Like, there's just no thing that says what you need to do and what you can do in this game. And especially when it comes to fantasy. That's why, one of the reasons why I love fantasy so much is because that there is no limit to it. Like, we can legit just do whatever we please with it. And I and I love that. I love that we can do that. So, yeah. I would really wish that I could do something up here with this guy. Can we do that? So we got this guy here, right? I mean, he's not really in the way if he's over here. Like, he's actually not at all in the way, which is kind of nice. I mean, I know it's going to clip through it a little bit, the, uh, the curtains here, but it's fine, though. So place it around here. And then just put it down a little bit so it's not completely... And then we will... This colored blue, maybe. Yeah, this color. This is nice. I guess we can place a, uh, something over here. Hmm. I mean, the bison skull, I guess. We can have him hanging anyways. It's literally just for decorate decorations, right? So, just kind of have to have it hanging, though. We do this. And see, then we have this guy, which is this so big dude maybe we can even add one of these guys here we can do this color it brown or a little bit black i guess there are a few crates too but we can't really use these crates they're kind of pointless for us here small barrel could use on the top 
But besides all these things, I am. Um, I think we're. I think we're somewhat getting there at the inside, guys. And then we need to go out and do something on the exterior side, which I st I actually don't have any clue yet what we can do with that. But then hopefully we'll have something. I'm gonna go up here. Like that. And then. And then. We are gonna find stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. First of all, we can place like a skull up here. And then a few books. This is like his, um, his very important books he has on the top. <laughs> right? And then we can do this. So can we do this? I kind of want you here. Perfect. And we can kind of put them on the floor here as well. Like that. And then I slowly feel like, guys, that we are like there. Inside at least. I don't feel like we can... Like, as I say, sometimes you also just need to stop, because... Alright, I just need to make sure that all this I'm building here doesn't clip through everything else. Because that is important. Alright, so just see how much this changed, just us adding a little trim piece to the roof here. It just makes a lot more sense. Just makes a lot more sense. What we could do now is that we could try add a light. Like standing here in the in the window, but just turn it off. Oh god, I hate when it does this. Just turn it off. I hope it will allow us to do that. There we go. And then we just need to do the same that we did over here with the um, with the things here. There we go. And then I think we are done inside, guys. Then I think we should focus on the exterior afterwards. That is what we need to do. All right, peeps. Here we go. Boom. So yeah, that was pretty much uh, this tutorial for this time, guys. I hope you learned a few things on this guy here. Let me know down below what you think. Um, and then obviously we will do the next part where we will build the exterior, which is also going to be very fantasy is and with a lot of clutter, obviously. Um, but yeah, this is sort of my goal on how to do fantasy clutter. I know we were building in this sort of more look of a writer in a sense, but it's still sort of fantasy with all the stuff inside and we can just go wacky with it all, right? So, um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. I have a few cinematic shots for you guys here at the end, so you can enjoy. And, uh, yeah, I just hope I will see you guys next time. And uh, leave a like. And also, if you think it deserves it, join the Discord. All the links are down below. All right, guys. Take care. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>